the papyrus Put it on my table every month I don't want to miss it Don't even try to hide it No, I don't want to lose it And you see how it is It's so important The papyrus We're all so online The papyrus Welcome to this week's entertainment news on the Papyrus TV Africa. My name is Justin Grusha. Adekunle Kosoko, a popular singer known as Adekunle Gold, has seriously warned his fellow colleague Olaware Olorofo, also known as Brimon, to get help and stay away from his family and wife, Simi Sola Kosoko, known as Simi. Adekunle's reaction was to the controversial audio clip shared by Brimo on his official Twitter handle, revealing that he had declined to collaborate with Simi because he refused to engage in a sexual relationship with him. I had requested a body exchange before agreeing to collaborate with female artists like Simi and Efa, seemingly to test the outcomes of their musical collaboration, Brimo further disclosed. AG Baby, as he is fondly called, took to his verified Twitter page on Friday to address the issue and express his displeasure at Brimo's statement warning him not to disrespect his wife and family and also advised Brimo to seek help. In a similar manner, Nigerian singer Abdul Salam Sliyat, Boda Shola, better known as Sliya, has got social media watch as she called out the video's record label. DMW in her single title I am done. Me, I don't care if you choose to stay. Another blessing, another day. You know go follow you play my games. Kill some other trouble. The singer who just left DMW break silence with her song which included lyrics in Yoruba, a Yi Melagan, Lady Bamison, and translates to How many of you want to sleep with me? The singer's lyrics are stirred different reactions as she I kisses Davido, Peruzzi and others of sleeping with her in the new song. In another development, Jerry Williams begins rehabilitation. The Nollywood actor who came to the limelight either staring in the movie titled The Chasing King is reported to have checked into a rehab facility for drug addiction. It's meant for me alone, but now this idiot will not stop. Say up flank you. Record that Jerry was indefinitely suspended for drug abuse made known late last month by Emeka Rolas, the president of the Actors Guild of Nigeria AGN over alleged drug abuse. Rolas man, who stated that Jerry's suspension was with immediate effect, also added that the suspension of the actor became necessary because the actor cannot be allowed to associate with other performers on set to avoid endangering their lives. He further stated that the AGN has been monitoring Jerry's alleged involvement in the use of illicit substances since last December until he got out of hand. An insider has however confirmed to Nollywood now on Saturday, July 15 that the talented actor was in rehab and is said to be doing well at an undisclosed rehab center. It is reported that the actor is currently undergoing intensive therapy which is expected to help him concentrate on his health recovery. <music> Late Sound Sultan drops new song with Spyro, Get Fans Accent. Is he making music from the other side? <laughs> The late Nigerian Afro pop star Sound Sultan stirred nostalgia in the minds of fans and netizens as a song of him featuring Spyro even in death. The singer, who appeared to have had a couple of projects he was working on before his demise, has ignited his legacy once more. A new post on his social media page indicated that the disease has a new single on streaming platforms. The late Nigerian music legend may be no more, but his legacy has continued to impact young talents' lives and careers. 
The singer who died on July 11, 2021, has a newly released single featuring the fast rising act Spyro. Even the ladies want the silicone shape. Silicon shape. Everybody just fake. Yeah. See my people just a copy and paste. Copy and paste. Shena today. Shena today. The video donates 237 million to 424 orphanage homes in Nigeria. The Nigerian Afrobeat singer. The video took to his official social media page to publicly announce his foundation, David Adeleke Foundation DAF which he said will be donating the sum of 237 million to 424 orphanage homes in Nigeria. That foundation was founded in 2022 to assist the less privileged and ever since then, it has been a great success in raising and distributing funds to improve the lives of many children. According to him, the donation would benefit 13,808 children across the country. Announcing his foundation plans, the video took to his verified Twitter handle and wrote, I am proud to announce that my foundation, the David Adeleke Foundation DAF, has donated the sum of 237 million to orphanages throughout Nigeria. The distribution of donation funds was led by the chair of the DAF Disbursement Committee, Mrs. Titi Adebayo, with the foundation successfully distributing funds to 424 orphanages, benefiting a total of 13,818 children. Seeing the impact and success of my previous donations, particularly in 2021 after my birthday, left a mark on my heart, and reading the numerous letters and messages from everyone who received this donation has reaffirmed my commitment to continuously assist the less privileged in any capacity. Speaking further, he thanked those that contributed across various sectors. He said, I would like to personally thank all individuals and corporations that assisted in raising the donation sum. This would not have been possible without your unwavering support and kindness. May God bless each and every one of you. In another development, a music legend, Innocent Edibia, popularly known as Tubaba, has debunked a rumor that he has stopped making music. The Afro-pop legend, in an interview with Segun Adebayos, stated that his involvement in humanitarian services was the reason for his not bringing forth an album for a while, as expected. Recounting the humanitarian project he has done so far, the singer said, My team and I have been involved in several commendable projects that includes National Agency for Food and Drug Administration Control, NAVDAC, Campaign Against Fake and Substantive Food and Drug Products, the Net Nation and Anti-Malaria Campaign, CECP, cancer awareness and fundraising efforts, disaster relief work with the Red Cross of Nigeria, IDP intervention efforts with UNCHR, and multiple One Voice Nigeria projects with Enough is Enough Nigeria. When asked whether Two Baba will be retiring from music any soon, the singer responded saying, Retire? Never. I still make good and conscious music. It is what I am born to do. No backing down anytime soon. Also this week, a popular gospel artist, Frank Edward, boasts to be richer than every Yahoo boy as he speaks recently at a religious gathering. That Yahoo is not the way. Yahoo Plus is not the way. And I tell you the truth, and I don't hide anything, I don't know of anybody who is doing Yahoo Plus or anything that is wealthier than I am, I don't, I don't think so. The music evangelist argued that the comfort he enjoys from his wealth cannot be the same as people who engage in internet fraud. Edward further betrays his claim, adding that he can spend his money freely unlike internet fraudsters, some of whom he argued do not sleep at night or in peace. And because of that too, I sleep in my house I, and I have peace. Most of those people build houses they can't sleep in. They can't sleep at night. Some of them don't shower. 
to they use a lot of perfume because they have told them don't you cannot shower i do not know anyone doing yahoo plus or anything that is weighted than i am saying because he can sleep in his house and have peace most of those people build houses they cannot sleep in. They cannot sleep at night. He also said they do not shower. So they use a lot of perfume because they have told them you cannot shower. Some of them buy a lot of expensive perfumes thinking that that will make a difference. What is the point of having money and they say do not help your mother. You are a billionaire but they are saying do not help your family with this money. You cannot sleep. Is that one money? But me, I can sleep. I can buy anything I want. I can help anyone I want to help. And I am sure that my salvation is intact, most importantly. So what is the point of having a money and you can, they say, don't help your mother? You are a billionaire, but they have said, you, please don't help your family with this money. On the international scene, pregnant popular Rihanna 35 enjoyed a night out with her one-year-old son Ra. The pregnant rated R singer smuggled her little boy as she left Gigio Baldi, her favorite Italian restaurant in Santa Monica, California on Saturday, July 22nd. Rihanna showed off her growing baby bob as she spotted a crop top and oversized jeans with an animated pattern along with a jacket adorned with dollar bill signs. She also added a silver chain link necklace to the cool outfit as well as pointly black bombs. The star appears to be due any day with her bomb, which she first debuted during her super brow halftime performance in February. The Fenty Beauty founder's glam was also a sleigh as she spotted her hair in a pigtail braid style for a 2YK vibe. Her makeup took a decidedly late 1990s style with a darker bronze finished lipstick and liner as well as a light metallic shadow. Rihanna's skin was absolutely glowing, likely thanks to her popular Fenty skin level with a dark blush and golden sheen, possibly as a result of her kilowatt freestyle highlighter and other cut right from the inclusive makeup line. In another development, an American actor com singer Jamie Foxx has taken to his Instagram to share an update on his head after his hospitalization saying he has been through hell and back. This is the first time the actor is speaking on the hospitalization since it occurred in April 2022. He had posted a photo to his Instagram after being discharged and many worried fans sought for an update on his health. Following his three-minute video to his verified Instagram page narrating the ordeal and expressing his gratitude to everyone for their prayers and support, he said, First of all, I want to say thank you to everybody that sprayed, man, and sent me messages. I cannot even begin to tell you how far it took me and how it brought me. First of all, I want to say thank you to everybody that's prayed, man, and sent me messages. I cannot even begin to tell you um, how, how far it took me and how, how it brought me back. Um, uh, I went through something that I, I thought I would never ever go through. Uh, and I know a lot of people were waiting, you know, or wanting to hear updates, but to be honest with you, I just didn't want you to see me like that, man. You know, I want you to see me laughing, having a good time, partying, cracking a joke, doing a movie, television show. I didn't want you to see me with, uh, with tubes um, running out of me and, and trying to figure out uh, if, if I was gonna make it through. And to be honest with you, my uh, my sister Deidre Dixon, my daughter Corinne Marie saved my life. So uh, to them, to God, to a lot of great medical people, uh, I'm able to leave you this uh, video. Going on, the Oscar winning actor explained the reasons for his silence since being discharged from the hospital for an undisclosed ailment. Comically, he noted that 
he wanted to be known for his goofy side as well as his achievements, not sickness. In his words, I went through something I never ever thought I would go through. I know a lot of people were waiting on me for updates, but to be honest with you, I just didn't want you to see me like that. I want you to see me laughing, having a good time, partying, cracking a joke, doing a movie, television show. I didn't want you to see me with tears coming out of me. Fox also thanked his family members for keeping his ailment and hospitalization discreet and protecting him while he was under. This is Entertainment News, Papyrus TV Africa. I am Justin Gusha. Bye. The